Looking for something to do on a rainy day in Amsterdam? How about a movie? We're gonna go see a movie in this really cool building today. What's wrong? My hair, it's just this weather. It, it's miserable weather again, I'm shocked. <laughs> We're gonna make the best of a rainy Sunday afternoon. <laughs> what, what is the eye? Do we know what this actually is? It's not just a theater. It's a film museum. It's a film museum. They have stuff dating back over a hundred years old. I think it was founded in the 50s. Were there vlogs back then? Maybe. I've heard that this building is a little bit controversial at times. I've been on boat tours here where the, the tour guide sort of said, oh, in this crazy, silly building. It's very weird looking. We've read that there are some people here that do not like this building. They think it's an eyesore. I think it's neat. We are in the north. Amsterdam Nord across the river from Central Station. And there's lots over here. We, we came here to see the Eich Hall. Yeah, for the flea market. I, things are happening around us. Let's go in the museum. Standing in, in front of all the kids that want to do this. Sorry. Look, I'm a vlogger. All right, so one of the other reasons that we came to the iFilm Museum was to do a really cool flip book. They basically like take a bunch of series of pictures of you and put it into an old school flip book. It's out of order today. Due to technical difficulties. Look how cool it is. That was like, I mean, yeah, we wanted to see a movie, but it was kind of like the reason for coming here. So hopefully if any of you guys come here, you have better luck than we do. We'll definitely be coming back for it though, because I think it's really cool. Kind of one of those like old school things that you can do. Anyways, we're gonna enjoy the rest of the museum, end it with a movie, and hopefully it'll be just as cool as if there was a flip book. I feel a bit attacked by the text on the wall that says, thanks to the smartphone, everyone is now a filmmaker. I'm a vlogger, not a filmmaker. It's different. So even though they can't print the film flip books, we're gonna do one. Let's do this. So there's all these interactive exhibits about film. There's obviously the flipbook situation. There's old cameras, there's different displays documenting how they used to make films, how they make films now. It's really cool in here. It's super dark, so having trouble with the camera, my own camera situation, but, but it's really neat. presentation shows films from I's vast film collection. Aim the tablet at the wall and swipe a fragment towards me. Okay, let's see. This moves, look. And swipe a fragment towards it. So you're gonna decide and, what's on the wall? Yeah. Throw. So I want green. Throw. Green. Whoa, you threw it up there. Yeah, I did. I'm magic. How about landscape? Oh, it's so pretty. So these are all taken from movies there. that are in their archives, which is kind of cool. I wish it would tell you what movie it was. Look at the stuff on below it. Those are balls. Let's get rid of those. If nothing else, this room is pretty cool with all the different films and movies on all the walls. It's, uh, I don't know if, I think I've ever been in a space quite like this before. Okay, so there's also a catch feature. So you can catch something off of the wall and see what movie it is, see it highlights it, catch it. 
and it brings it right here and plays you the clip and tells you director, year, all the information and a little synopsis of what the oh you can you can actually watch the entire film i wonder two hours and 40 minutes you can sit here and watch the film on this ipad okay so flipbook's not working but they do have their green screen little exhibit here so we're gonna do a silly little dance or something in front of this green screen and then it superimposes you into some type of movie or clip that they that you can choose oh journey to the moon Oh, you want to help Alice rescue her dogs? I'd like to go to the moon, please. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Oh. Decided since there's no one here at the green screen, we're just gonna do all the movies. Travel through time in our time machine. Oh no, look out! There's a car! Oh. Balloons, you hate balloons! Ah. Katrina does not like balloons. So we're in one of these pods here. We can literally watch hundreds of films here with headphones in a little pod. I, I would just rather go home, I think, and watch something than sit here in, in this pod, but I don't know. It seems like a strange thing, right? It, it's a way to see like stuff from history, because there's really yeah. old, a lot of this is Dutch, which is cool. Like, like look at this airplane thing from 1910. Jeez. Well, let's watch something super old. Like the 1899 of Yeah, we need that headphones. Though. Was there sound in 1899? Did vloggers have microphones? Um, I don't know. Oh, it's already going. Let's restart. I don't think there's any sound. I don't think they had. I don't think they did either back in 1899. They didn't have cool lab mics or wireless Sony mics or anything. I mean, this is like they were just experimenting with. That's Amsterdam. That's why I chose it. So there's two exhibits you pay for for the museum ticket. There's the the long-term exhibit with the kind of the history of their film archive, and then there's a temporary exhibit right now at the Eye, and it's about a famous filmmaker from Uzbekistan. She's big in Europe. She's won awards. I don't know her personally. It's a documentary and, and art films looks to be. Her name is really difficult to pronounce. It, Seodat is Malova. Is Milova? Is Malova? I, it's, uh, it's an interesting name I've never seen before. We're gonna go check out that exhibit and see some of her art and then carry on through the eye. said that I wasn't clumsy. What are these? I don't know, I've never seen them before in my life. I used to have so many DVDs that I just got rid of when I moved. I haven't watched a digital video disc in a long, long time. Have you ever seen this? I don't think I've seen Death really? Becomes Her. I don't oh, think so. You ever seen Apocalypse Now? Yes. That's a classic. <laughs> <laughs> You 
want to make me really mad? Here's how you make me really mad. I ask to sit down at the cafe. You tell me there's no tables. I point to an empty table. You tell me there's reservations. And so I stand back a few feet. Another couple comes up, asks for a table. They're told no tables, but they argue for like, what, 20 seconds? And then they get the table. That lady was just being pushy, so she just got that second table. But I'm polite and walk away, so I don't get the table. <sighs> Anyway, I thought the exhibit was cool. I thought both exhibits were cool, downstairs and the thing. But I think the cafe service is lacking. And there's more people getting seated right now too. So, fuck. I don't know, I'm still pissed. Not to like, you know, pour salt on the wound. The flipbook thing was broken. The flipbook thing was broken too. <laughs> so that was the eye museum. <laughs> Rant aside, I got mad. I liked the traveling or the temporary exhibition and I don't want to butcher the woman's name because she's clearly very talented. It made me want to see Central Asia. <laughs> like I want to go to Uzbekistan. I want to see these countries that I really don't know a lot about. So. Mm. That's what art can do. Art can open your mind and go in other places. Hot take. Absolutely. I think it's always good to experience these types of places and, you know, maybe next time the flip book will be working. You really wanted that flip book. I didn't even know that this existed until I saw the flip book. I know that you did. I did not. That and was I the draw. The flip book was freaking cool. It was the hook that got her. It's smart because it gets people in and then people see the rest of the museum and but not when it's broken. Anyway. We'll be back.